In today's video, we're uncovering the secrets behind first impressions. With six fascinating insights, you'll learn not just how quickly first impressions are made, but also how to make yours count for all the right reasons. Whether it's for a job interview, a first date, or a new social gathering, these tips are game changers. And stay tuned, because we have a special bonus tip waiting for you at the end of the video. It's a vital piece of advice for making a lasting, positive connection. 1. The speed of judgement Let's dive into how swiftly first impressions are formed. It's astonishingly quick, think milliseconds. This lightning fast judgement might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's all real, and it's happening in our brains. In these fleeting moments, our brain is hard at work. It's like a supercomputer processing tons of information without us even realising it. Studies reveal that within this short time frame, we're already deciding whether someone is trustworthy, friendly or competent. It's not just about what we see, it's about how our brain interprets it. While these rapid assessments are happening at breakneck speed, they're not always accurate. Our brains are using a sort of shortcut, piecing together previous experiences, societal norms, and personal biases to make a snap judgement. It's efficient, yes, but it also means that sometimes we might jump to conclusions too quickly. Understanding the speed of first impressions teaches us the power of a moment. It's a reminder that in the world of human interactions, sometimes a millisecond is all it takes to start writing a story in someone else's mind. So, next time you meet someone, remember, the clock is ticking faster than you think. 2. Facial features and first impressions Ever wondered why some faces just seem more trustworthy or friendly at first glance? Well, it's not just a random feeling, there's science behind it. Facial features play a huge part in how we perceive others. For instance, a genuine smile can be like a magnet, drawing people in and signalling friendliness. Then there's the power of the eyes, often called the windows to the soul. They can convey sincerity and warmth. Studies have shown that we tend to favour faces that are symmetrical, which we subconsciously associate with attractiveness and health. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Our brains are not just passive observers, they're actively interpreting these facial cues. This process is influenced by cultural norms and personal experiences. So, what one person finds comforting or appealing in a face, another might not. This fascinating interplay between facial features and first impressions highlights the complexity of human interactions. It reminds us that while we might think we're making objective judgments, our perceptions are often coloured by a myriad of subconscious factors. 3. The halo effect The halo effect isn't about angels, but how one positive trait can cast a glow over our entire perception of someone. Intrigued? Let's explore this further. If you meet someone who's incredibly funny, suddenly, you find yourself thinking they're also smart, kind, and even more attractive. That's the halo effect in action. This psychological phenomenon means that one standout quality can positively influence our overall impression of a person. It's like a rose-tinted spotlight that makes everything else look better. But here's the catch. The halo effect can sometimes lead us astray. Just because someone is charming or good-looking doesn't necessarily mean they're trustworthy or intelligent. Our brains, however, often make these leaps without us even realising it. Understanding the halo effect helps us recognise the shortcuts our brains take in judging others. It's a reminder to look beyond the surface and not let a single trait define our entire view of someone. So next time you're dazzled by someone's standout quality, remember to take a step back and see the whole picture. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, why not spread a little love? A quick like, dropping a comment, or hitting that subscribe button really goes a long way in helping us out. 4. Body language and non-verbal cues It's not just about what we say, but how we say it. And often, it's what we don't say that speaks volumes. Our body language is like an open book, revealing more than we might intend. A firm handshake, a confident posture, or a genuine smile can make a world of difference in how we're perceived. 
These non-verbal cues are the unsung heroes in the story of first impressions. Consider the power of a smile. It's a friendly gesture and a universal sign of warmth and approachability. Or think about posture. Standing tall doesn't just make you look confident, it makes you feel it too. And let's not forget eye contact, the bridge that connects two people in a silent conversation. But here's something to think about. While body language is a fantastic tool for making positive impressions, it's also prone to misinterpretation. Cultural differences, personal habits, and even a bad day can alter the way our nonverbal cues are received. Next time you're meeting someone, remember it's not just your words that count. Your body is telling its own story, making a mark in those crucial first moments. Let's make sure it's telling the story you want to share. 5. The power of clothing and appearance Clothing and appearance are like a personal billboard. Studies have shown that our clothing choices can significantly affect how we're perceived. A sharp suit might convey professionalism, while casual attire could suggest approachability and friendliness. But it's not just about the clothes themselves, it's how they make us feel, and, in turn, how we present ourselves to the world. When we feel good in what we're wearing, it shows. Our posture improves, our smiles become brighter, and our eyes sparkle with confidence. It's like wearing an invisible cape of self-assurance. However, it's crucial to strike a balance. Dressing authentically is key. It's about expressing who you are, not hiding behind a costume. And remember, while clothes might help in making a great first impression, they should complement, not overshadow your personality. When you're picking out an outfit for a meeting or a casual get-together, think about the message you're sending. Let your wardrobe be an extension of your unique self, making a statement in those vital first moments. 6. The role of context and environment The context in which we meet someone can colour our perception of them in surprising ways. It's like setting the stage for a play. The backdrop can dramatically change the story being told. For example, meeting someone in a professional setting versus at a casual party paints a different picture. In an office, we might instantly regard someone as competent and serious, while at a party, the same person could come across as fun and approachable. Environment plays a subtle yet powerful role. It's like a lens through which we view people. A dimly lit cafe might create an aura of mystery and intimacy. On the other hand, a bright and bustling environment might lend an air of energy and openness to the encounter. When you next meet someone, remember to consider the setting. It's not just the person that's making an impression, it's the whole scene. This awareness can open doors to more meaningful connections and understanding beyond the initial impression. Bonus tip, overcoming a bad first impression. First impressions, while powerful, aren't set in stone. If you feel like you made a less than stellar first impression, don't fret. It's not the end of the story. The key is genuine effort and consistency. Showing your true self over time can gradually reshape that initial judgement. It's about actions, not just words. If you come off as aloof initially, try to be more approachable and engaging in future interactions. Were you too talkative? Next time, focus on listening and showing interest in others. Balance out the first impression with new, positive experiences. Everyone has off days. Maybe you were nervous or just not at your best. Giving people a chance to see the real you, and also giving yourself a chance to see them beyond your first impression, can work wonders. So, don't let a rocky start discourage you. With patience and authenticity, you can transform a not-so-great first impression into a lasting, positive connection. It's all about giving the story a chance to evolve. Are you ready to learn more about making meaningful connections? Learn 15 secrets to getting better at talking to people, or discover 9 hidden signs you're exuding confidence without even knowing it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.